Hello everybody, today we'll be testing Windows Defender against ransomware, fully up to date, latest version of Windows, and we're going to see if it can stop ransomware from encrypting the files on your system. This has become a bit of an annual tradition on this channel. I'm going to tell you how exactly I do it. We're going to download the latest ransomware, the top 200 ransomware that has been seen recently, and we're going to execute it on this system with this script. I have no idea what's going to happen. We're going to find out together. Maybe our data is going to get encrypted maybe not i've got some documents in the documents folder i've got some pictures screenshots from jurassic park invaluable let's see what happens just cleaned up the screen we're good to go let the testing begin. As you can see, we have a live feed, so we're going to know if something is blocked or missed. It may not be 100% accurate because things may get blocked after execution. This only tells us if we were able to launch a process on the system. And uh, it's going to take a while because we are doing 200 new ransomware variants. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. Ready for any unexpected behavior, system crashes, who knows? Defender is doing a decent job of blocking these threats. We we did see a couple be missed, but uh, I don't notice any encryption so far. Ooh, interesting. We have a confirmation now. Are you sure you want to continue this program? Of course, why not? Continue whatever you want. Oh, I just heard some beeping there. That can be good. <laughs> This reminds me of the old school viruses. We have uh, another application install warning. Order Express 2.4, why not? It's the watchdog uh, from Microsoft Defender saying we have a Trojan bat. It wants us to restart the device. We're gonna do that a little bit later because we obviously don't wanna interrupt the test. Let's have a look at our file, shall we? So documents are fine. Pictures are also fine so far. We only have an order express installed. I mean, there might be a couple things here that have ransomware you know, baked into them, but they might also install legitimate applications. So there could be Trojans like that. So we're gonna ignore things like that doesn't really affect us as long as our data is safe. A lot of notifications, a lot of things being blocked, but our desktop background has been changed. I did hear that weird beep. Interestingly, we got IAR fan view. Our desktop background's gone. Um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> Maybe some ransomware partially executed. Oh, back Sawyer version question mark. Is this some kind of hacking tool? I like the pixel art in the background. Definitely interesting to look at. But if we want, I think uh, we can just close. Oh, <laughs> I just ran some kind of hacking tool. And there's another beep and a uh, successful alert. <laughs> the good news is, our data looks like it is intact for now. We are seeing more misses though, which is a little bit concerning because I'm pretty sure the files we're executing are mostly ransomware. And we do have some new processes that are in memory right now, even though I closed out that application. The Windows Defender is catching a lot of them, but uh-oh, we might be in trouble here. I saw the first file being renamed by a different extension, MLBO. I'm seeing it on the desktop. I don't know if it's started affecting our actual documents. That is happening. So <laughs> as usual, damn, ransomware wins again, it looks like. I keep doing this every year and hoping that one day I'm gonna get a successful result from Windows Defender, but um, it looks like we have found a ransomware that has started encrypting our files successfully. Interestingly, I don't know this one. I don't know what MLBO stands stands for, but it seems to have gotten through. And it's only getting worse, so now administrator privileges are required to run the script. Um, more stuff is executing. Interestingly, all our documents have not been encrypted, only a few of them. This ransomware is taking its sweet time. I wonder which process it is, probably this one, since it is taking up quite a bit of CPU. Encryption does take a lot of resources, so you are going to notice it if it's doing it on your system, unless it's doing it very, very slowly. I mean, this one is kind of doing it slowly. It's taking only taking 13% of the CPU and that's why it's taking so long. I'm kind of curious to find out what exactly this ransomware is. So we could go to like ID ransomware. So if you do get hit by ransomware, this is a great site to go to. It's, it's all the way down here. If you send it a sample of your encrypted file, it's going to tell you what type of ransomware it is, if it can be decrypted, all sorts of useful information. So interesting, IT ransomware could not determine what ransomware this is even. So it could be something fairly new. And now we have this prompt on the system, get wrecked, count your days. 
that can't be good. Okay, I guess. And now our system restarts. Looks like we have more than just regular ransomware because ransomware typically does not do this. We might have some other hacking tools or maybe tools used by ransomware actors active on the system. Maybe we've stumbled into something here. Looks like we are booting back in. Our test was interrupted because of the restart, but uh, unfortunately, a lot of our data has been encrypted. We still have malware active on the system. Uh, <laughs> We're getting prompts about wanting to continue our program, whatever that is. It does look like the ransomware has uh, a persistence mechanism. It has a shortcut in startup. So very interesting result. I think Microsoft Defender did an all right job at the beginning. It did block a lot of this malware, but eventually something got through. The one that uses the .mlbo extension. Now I did do a search for the .mlbo ransomware and it seems to be very interesting. So we've got this one file that's been reported with the extension. And if I look at the actual ransomware where it came from. It's not very highly detected, only 13 detections out of 71, but it does match a lot of ransomware rules. So for example, it deletes shadow copies. So we may have stumbled into a brand new ransomware here. That's just not that well known. And the last analysis was 17 hours ago. I want to see when it was first seen. So first seen or first submission was yesterday. Tells you everything you need to know. Windows Defender, it is pretty good. If ransomware or any kind of malware is several days old, it's probably going to pick it up with the cloud detections, but against new malware, against targeted malware, it just cannot. Let me know your thoughts on these results in the comments down below. I'm super interested to hear what you guys make of it. Another thing worth noting about Windows Defender is sometimes it can be easy to bypass or add an exclusion for the malware to execute. There's been other videos I've made on that topic, but this was purely a detection test. Uh, we kind of do this every year <laughs> and it's always super fun. Now, because this sample is so interesting, I decided to do a post-mortem with it and analyzed it in the VMRay sandbox. So we ran it on Windows 7, Windows 11, Windows 10. They all came back malicious. If we look at this analysis, you can see it's lit up like a Christmas tree. It creates a bunch of child processes, spawning reg.exe, cmd.exe, that's command prompt, obviously. And the main process is making a lot of network connections as well. Now, going back to the overview, you can see it has all the tricks in the book an execution through module load, bypasses user account control, uses a hidden window, access token manipulation, and of course, in the end, the data is encrypted for impact and defacement, which means it changes the wallpaper probably. Now I wanna thank VMRay for providing us access to their platform so I can do this sort of analysis. They're also sponsoring today's video, link in description, all that. But this is a really cool sample. Like, look at this. I didn't see this on the VM for some reason. When we ran it, this didn't happen, but as you can see, it changes the background to this uh, evil twin of Super Mario, I guess. Golden Sigma. For all I know, this might be a brand new ransomware that we just stumbled into. Rate this wallpaper in the comments below for ransomware wallpapers. I think this is quite close to the top. And do like and share this video if you enjoyed it. If you like the sort of content, definitely subscribe to the PC Security channel. We have a lot more coming up. And thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had a good start to 2025. See you in the next one. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.